hi guys it's your boy the h so basically if any of you guys watched my prediction video yesterday it was possibly my what's the opposite of greatest um my most destructively terrible set of predictions in boxing that i've had since running the channel and since i've probably done in about six years so basically i'm trying to think so i said spill cut i thought would possibly been on points or a late ko he actually got knocked you got knocked up out by Chizora in round two. I thought Dave Allen would be too mobile and he'd make um, Price look stiff. Well, Price compute completely dismantled that theory and actually showed why he was a Commonwealth Games uh, gold medalist and why he was an Olympic um, bronze medalist and completely used his skills. First time I've seen David Price use his skills in many a year. But um, yeah. And Gideon White and Reverse, you've you got to give me that one though, because I said, oh, I think Reverse might um, get a late finish around 9 or 10. Obviously, he knocks him down around 9. I thought he actually would carry on to um, do that, and Reverse did show a lot of skills, and Reverse could have won that. Um, as much as Gideon White did deserve a, a bad decision, I still think um, that was a close fight, and that one, <laughs> you guys can give me. But the other two, yeah, fair, put my hands up. You always put your hands up when you're wrong. Yeah, and yeah, I was wrong, fair play. Um, there, there is a few little mitigating um, matters, and the main one I've heard is online. Also, Derek has always said it, and there's a lot of rumours going to it and stuff. Basically, they're saying Dave Allen was drinking in the bar until 2:30 a.m. Um, before his fight. So think about that. So Friday night he would have been drinking until 2:30 a.m. early morning Saturday, and he woke up late. Supposedly he was feeling a bit groggy. Who knows? This is just rumours, guys. I'm just giving you what I'm hearing. Um, it might not be true, it might be true. At the end of the day, let's not jump on people when they're down. I think that's a bit sad. So all the people ripping Dave Allen, mate, he's got, I think he's I think he's got that, like, he either owns two houses and he's got the third buy to let or something. He's making money hand over fist. I didn't walk my around. Hand over fist. Um, he's had a good run and he, who knows, he's not, he's only, he's younger than me actually. I think he's like 26. He's a couple, he's a couple years younger than me. So he's still young, he might still do it. I'm not going to fully hate on him. Um, David Price was an Olympic level fighter, wasn't he? So let's not rip him. Um, and do you know what? It was actually funny, and actually, not funny, it was, mm, I don't know what the right word is. It was interesting. I watched the interview with Price here, and Price goes, Oh, the reason, one of the main reasons I wanted to win this was because um, his kids go to school, I don't know how old they are. And he goes, Oh, my kids at school get in a lot of stick. People saying, Your dad's rubbish, and like, your dad gets KO'd. I was like, oh, Wow. Like, I know society's a bit messed up here. Guys, like I don't know if any of you guys do that. I'm really sure you guys don't because you guys are quite respectful. Except for that weird Mo, whatever his name was, Mo didn't know what that, that, that was weird. His fans is strange. But apart from his fans, everyone on here, on my channel, you're all quite respectful. But guys, can you actually even imagine, like, disrespecting someone to the level where their kids get bullied for it? Like, that's that's shocking, isn't it? That's shocking. I think that's shocking anyway. So when David Price Price said that, I was like, wow. That's actually sad. Like a lot of people rip him. You've never seen me rip any boxer or any fighter on it because at the end of the day, if the moment you get into, it, I've been told to be, I've been amateur, and um, so you probably the moment you get in that, even play rugby. Like I used to play a bit of rugby back in the day on the wing. If you get on a pitch, if you get in a ring, you deserve credit. Even football, and much better than rips footballers. You can break your legs out there. You can get head out there. You can get concussed. You can get concrete kicks if every hat and holes about. But no, seriously, this I think everyone should have a bit more. Um, respect and a bit more kudos to these great fighters man like i see loads of, and here's the thing i hate about people as well people are so fickle man yesterday morning everyone was up dave allen's bottom licking him up nicely and bigging him up and now he's everyone's hating him so and literally going the opposite way with david price everyone was ripping him and everyone's loving him nah come on guys um take it with a grain of salt fair page to him white he's now mandatory he's going to get his shot before may or june 2020 which is next year um Let's see what happens with Dave Allen. He said he might retire, but I doubt it. I think he'll come back and get a few more fights. He's on a British scene. It'd be good to watch him fight guys like Daniel Dubois, um, even Nathan Gorman. Maybe, maybe him and Gorman's a fight to make if they can get that worked out due to the um, different promotional um, mishaps and mayhem that is usually ensues when Frank Warren and Eddie Hearn try and team up. Um, Chisora, though, yeah, I'd say the hero of the night was Chisora. Round two KO by a guy that took De uh, Deontay Wilder nine rounds. Fair play. You're beating faster than Adam Kainaki did, the baby face. Yeah, can't really hit on that. Pretty pretty good and pretty um destructive work by the boy. 
I don't know if I've told you guys before, I actually met Chizora twice. Um, I worked security down a place called Dunks Wars, and they just said, oh, he, it was Zimbabwe nights, he actually came twice. It's a good few years ago, three, four years ago, maybe a bit more. I've got an interesting story about Chizora, but I'm not going to reveal that because I get 1,000 subs subscriptions, and right now, I'm um, a little less than that. So <laughs> maybe in a couple of years, I'll tell you my story about him. It's not a bad story, it's not a good story. It's just the story. But no, cheers, guys. Um, Another short vid, just a quick little recap. And like I said, if you get predictions right, you are as I did the other week about um, Daniel Dubois and Gorman, literally almost to the round, exactly how it would go. I, I do feel like, oh yeah, okay, I'm gonna, gonna have to pick that up. I've got that prediction completely right, go watch my old videos. And if you get them wrong, like I did yesterday, hands up, got it wrong, it's all good. Cheers, guys. Um, wrestling videos coming in later tonight. Thanks, guys.